So the last step in stripping the interior is getting this sound deadening off. Um, it's like a hard resin and we've tried chipping away at it a bit but it just doesn't come off nicely. It comes off in like tiny little pieces. So we've done a bit of research and it seems like the solution is dry ice. But before we can use any dry ice, we need to get rid of 30 years of Pilbara red dirt. some dry ice in a little insulated box um, in here some little pellets so I'll pour about we've got four kilos I'll pour about half that'll do for the moment close that back up Um, and then we're going to mix that one with some methylated spirits to make a bit of a slurry. Also, if you've ever wondered what dry ice is, it's the solid form of carbon dioxide and comes in a bit colder than normal ice at negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. I've got the slurry here. So we'll just pour some of that onto the resin and it should become really brittle and break off. So we used the driver's footwell as a bit of a test bed to see what worked and by the time we got to the passenger footwell we had a pretty good method worked out. Cover the sound deadener in dry ice completely and spread it all around. Then start at it with a small chisel or hammer and screwdriver like we had. Now I hate to ask, but please hit the subscribe button so we can keep bringing you videos just like this one. You can hear all that cracking as the ice works away. Look at that. A piece and a half there. There we go. Wow, that one worked nicely. See, that's what you need to do is cover the whole thing in dry ice at once. Yeah. That seems to be the... The go. Now the main reason we were removing a sound deadening was to find any rust in the floor below. We're almost done the two um, front footwells and we've actually noticed there's no rust under where the sound deadening was. So we're not sure if we need to buy more ice and do the rest of the car, but once we've cleared it all out we'll have a proper look at it and decide. But yeah, the dry ice is working to get it off, working a treat. Um, we used about four kilos to do the two front driver footwells, so I'd say for the whole car you'd probably need about 10. Oh, that was a nice big piece. And there's rust down the side here that literally cuts in where the sound deadening cut in, right? All along the edge of where the sound deadening was, but it doesn't go onto where the sound deadening was. So I don't think there's any rust under any of this sound deadening, and I actually reckon we can leave the rest of it on. What do you think? Come around and have a look at this corner. Do you reckon it's immediately clean under there? Look, this may be the one exception. Because it's also lifted up a bit there, you can see. Yeah. I think that may be the one exception, but I reckon everywhere else it will actually be okay. Alrighty. What do you think? Sure. I, I think you might be right. There's no rust under there. Alright, so as you can see down here, um, 
there's no rust where the sound deadening was, even though it's literally rusted through the floor right here, which suggests to me that there's no rust under any of the other sound deadening parts. If that's the case, I don't think we need to take the rest of it off and instead we can just paint over it, repair the front and yeah, be good as gold. Is that, was there sound deadening there or not? Yeah, it was over, you see it's obviously come over here. Yeah, so there was a tiny bit of rust under it there, wasn't there? I'm disappointed. What? I sort of hoped it would be worth it. Thank <laughs> you.